affirmations. Do you wonder why they just don't seem to work for you? I'm Ali Bierman and I'm going to explain that to you right now. What I want to talk to you about today is affirmations. You see, affirmations work all the time. The thing is, affirmations aren't what most of the gurus out there are teaching you. They're teaching you how and what to say. But you know what? Affirmations, as they're teaching you, they're just thoughts. And thoughts aren't going in to make any changes in your reality. Just the thoughts not going in to reprogram, to create new programs, which will override programs in there, causing you to have what you don't want. Now, why do I say affirmations work all the time? Because what an affirmation truly is, is your feelings. And if you look at your world, you will notice that it probably looks the same way every day. And it does that because you feel the same feelings every day. So what you're feeling and focusing on is what's causing you to feel the way that you're feeling. And you keep getting more of the same, more of what you don't want because you have very strong feelings about what you don't want. And it's the feelings that are being read by the universe and being acted upon that you're manifesting. So affirmations work, and they work all the time. But they're not just words and thoughts. They're how you're feeling. So what can you do to create an affirmation? First of all, you want to do it consciously. Second of all, you can only attract to you what vibrates in harmony with you. So you have to put yourself in a place a feeling of love, a feeling gratitude before you go and feel the outcome that you want to have. You see, there are no positive events or thoughts, and there are no negative events or thoughts. There are only events that have no feelings. What there is, is love or an absence of love. When people do things that we label as bad, it's because there's no love there. When people do things that we label as good, it's because they're coming from their heart, because they're living love, because they're connecting heart to heart. So the first thing for you to do if you want to create the world you want is put yourself in a place of love. Be grateful for everything in your world. Be grateful for your hair, that all morning my hair has been telling me, would you please cut us and let us look decent? And I got that message real clearly, and I love that my hair, through the universe, I got the strong message that it's time to get my hair cut. And if you look around, you can be happy for the temperature that's happening today, or for the fact that you got all green lights when you were going someplace. Or sometimes I'm really happy when I get a red light because I want to make a note or I want to make a phone call and I'm not going to do that while I'm driving. Every little thing that happens all day long in your life, feel the gratitude that you're experiencing it. Why? Because that puts you in a place of love. And when you're in a place of love and you ask for the, the universe for what you want, coming from the place of love, what you're doing is enveloping that whole vision in the love so the universe is feeling it and acknowledging it and you go a step further by feeling it by going not seeing yourself up there on a movie screen but being behind your eyes walking on the floor what does it feel like what's the temperature in a room is it chilly or are you outdoors in the hot sun do you have a glass or a canteen or a bottle of something and you're drinking it and you feel it around in your mouth and slashing over your teeth and sliding over your tongue and swallowing it. Feel all of that. Who are you with? What are they saying? What sounds are you hearing in your environment? What are you feeling with your hands, with your skin? If you're eating something, what's your tongue and teeth feeling? Use all your senses to feel and feel the love and the gratitude for each of those things. And when you combine all of those things together and your vision for what you want, the universe responds. 
and it doesn't take a day or a week or a year. It responds right away. It brings what you want to you immediately. Now you may not be allowing it in, so it might not show up in your life just then. Or maybe the universe knows, yeah, you want A, but you know what? The universe has something that's way better than A. So maybe not bringing A to you. Affirmations are all about what you feel when you're coming from a place to begin with that's love. And when you live in the world of love, I'll tell you what, it feels really good and you don't have to be miserable, you don't have to be unhappy, and you don't have to hurt. Regardless of what's going on in your life, you don't have to suffer because as soon as you live with gratitude and love, everything heals. I don't know who it was that said if the only prayer you ever say in your life is thank you, that's enough.